Ella's stepmother, high-spirited lady that she was, set out to restore life and laughter to the house. <laughs> oh, you are awful, man. <laughs> I will. Ella, while I'm away, I want you to be good to your stepmother and stepsisters, even though they may be trying at times. I promise. Thank you. I always leave a part of me behind, Ella. Remember that. And, and, and your, your mother's here too, though, though you see her not. She's at the very heart of this place. And that's why we must cherish this house always for her. I miss her. Do you? Very much. Now, now, you mustn't love. Uh, yes, stepmother. Oh, you needn't call me that. Madam will do. There isn't room for me and all of your clothes. Well, I made yourself smaller. Anastasia and Drizella have always shared a room. Such dear, affectionate girls. Oh, but yes, disappear entirely. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Sometimes I could scratch your eyes out. I think they're finding the sleeping quarters rather confining. Oh, well, my bedroom's the biggest besides yours and father's. Perhaps they'd like to share it. What a wonderful idea. What a good girl you are. <laughs> well, I can stay in this... The attic. Quite so. The attic? Yes. Oh, only temporarily. While well, I have all the other rooms redecorated. The attic's so nice and airy. You'd be away from all of our fuss and bother. It'd be even more cosy if you kept all this bric-a-brac up there with you. Keep you amused. <laughs> 